Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I am having a look at some of Sampleson's software and specifically Sandstorm. So uh, if you don't know much about uh, Sampleson, they do a kind of range of uh, software VSTs. They do a lot of pianos, but they also do some uh, cinematic stuff like uh, Sandstorm and also uh, Skywaves, which is uh, analog cinematic soundscapes. Uh, Skywaves, Sandstorm, they've got Meta Piano, they've got... Uh, suit 73 so a kind of um suitcase piano they've got uh, reeds uh, 200 reed 106 so like i said a lot of uh, a lot of kind of electric pianos they've got a clavi uh, they've got an electric electro nylon which is some sort of weird guitar um nylon electric piano guitar type thing and they've got some weird brushify thing for finger drumming um, they've got a free software as well, so you can get RAND, which is a, a random synth module. They've got Alien Eyes, which is another cinematic one. They've got another kind of suitcase, 1959 electroacoustic. And uh, they've got analog channel saturation, so they have effects as well. And you can get that for free. Things is an intuitive synthesizer, and it looks a bit mental. And then you've got Acoustic, which is a spectral synth. And then there's Glassy, which is another electric piano. Um, like I said, it's a lot of pianos. Fire as a model piano bass, and also the model T and the Marcus 88. And you can also get uh, free analog vintage drums and free uh, vintage tone wheel B3 organ. They do seem to be majoring on the, uh, the piano side of it. So uh, Sandstorm, as we will go back to, is the evolving soundscapes builder. And it, it, it does look great, I have to say. It's completely different from pretty much anything that I have seen this. So Sandstorm is a massive soundscape and atmosphere creator that produces huge and evolving ambience and textures by stacking up to 17 high quality layers of sound. So don't ask me why they've picked 17. Uh, it's an odd number. Why not 16, 18, I don't know. So from orchestral instruments to analog synths, granular and wavetable modules, Sandstorm can create impressive textures and ambience in seconds. Basically you just drag these up and down uh, for the volumes and you've got a uh, reverb and a master gain. Um, so you've um, got these kind of menus here. So you've got uh, the, ma the main ones are macros and presets. The settings, obviously, you just have to kind of do ones. That's for assigning a in your MIDI and uh, audio input outputs. Um, so your presets and macros are the main one. The panic one, um, I don't know. It didn't really seem to do anything when I hit so, it. So uh, uh, Sandstorm can create multi-source sounds, which will allow you to rapidly try many variations and ideas for a movie passage or game scene. So available as a VST AU plugin and standalone software for both Windows and Mac, Sandstorm is cutting edge tool for generating complex and evolving soundscapes. So like I said, you've got 17 high quality sound sources. So Sandstorm offers a wide range of sonic possibilities that are perfect for modern underscores and sound production. So it is intuitive interface and flexible routing options gives you complete control over your sound, allowing you to shape and mold it in to your exact specifications so basically what you do is you um either drag this mouse over and anything that has um been applied will uh, either increase or decrease the volume you can click just one of these and if you assign that to the mod wheel it will actually move all the other ones that have been linked to the mouse dragging feature because obviously you can't really play and drag a mouse at the same time. Well, I can't because I'm right-handed. So this is the important thing. So the first six are orchestral. So you've got strings one, bassoons, tubas, strings two, French horns, and strings three. And the kind of next six are kind of like the synths. So you've got a pad synth, uh, an upright piano, a male voice, uh, and two sub synths, uh, and also a wavetable arp. And there's also a wavetable synth as well, although you can't change the actual wavetable itself. You can adjust some parameters, but there isn't actually a list of wavetables that you can choose from. Uh, there's also a wind noise uh, synth generator, and then there's three granular synths, and they do have about 20 odd presets uh, that you can apply to those three that will um, change the uh, the granular sound. The, the obvious thing is there's no percussion. So there's no toms, bass, kicks, hi-hats, cymbals, nothing. So why is that not the 18th one would be my first question. If you're doing kind of cinematic stuff, I mean, especially when they've got like pretty much everything else, instead of maybe one of the sub synths, 
uh, had some some sort of percussion. You know, they do have an analog drum machine, so why not incorporate that into here? I don't know. We'll play a few of the sound demos because they are they are not bad. give you a kind of an idea uh, and these were all created um, purely with sandstorm said you just uh, you know you can really quickly just right click these and assign it to mouse drag um, and then like I said you can also invert these so they will go down instead of up so you can drag these um, and like I said you could have two or three that are going to go down and then two or three that are going to come up so you get these evolving kind of nice sounds. Yeah. Uh, Cinematic instrument for music scoring uh, ambient arps drones melodic and textual modules uh, it is smaller than 200 meg and it has low CPU. There's 17 sound engines and only 88 presets, which is not a lot of presets at all. So guess what I'm going to be doing? Automated parameters for DAWs and then granular wavetable oscillator and sampling engines. And it also has ambient reverb, master gain, module reverb. And it will work in 10.7 uh, or later. So it works fine with Catalina, thank God. So it makes a change. It's not a bloody um, contact plugin because I am sick of those. Uh, a host may, must support VSTI or AU plugins. So um, no Pro Tools, I'm afraid, but fine for Logic and anything else. Uh, and then Windows, you have got Windows 7 or later. And that is it. Like I said, there isn't a huge mention. There's no manual. Um, I couldn't find uh, anywhere to download the manual. I have actually asked them a few questions um, and hopefully I will get a reply, is uh, there's no preset name anywhere. So when you load a preset, you can't cycle through uh, the presets, uh, and that is very, very odd. So uh, I will open up uh, Sandstorm in standalone version, and then I will give you an idea of what it sounds like and what you can do with it. Here we are, and I have got the standalone version of uh, Sandstorm open. So I'll just play you the, the kind of default preset that it seems to open with. Uh, and like I said, there's no there's no names anywhere, so I don't know what this is called or uh, which one it is. I mean, if I go to presets, I have no idea uh, which one it is. So that's one of the issues that I have raised with uh, Sampleson. So you can see that uh, anything that has uh, a one, a green one, has been applied to the drag mouse feature. So you can drag both ways, and as you can see, this is kind of uh, uh, moving the string three. If we go into edit mode, you'll see that uh, these are the four kind of parameters that you can change, but also um, you can probably tell that there's other things going on and if I go to texture 2 you'll see that the timber is also being um, adjusted as well for uh, the piano preset so if I move this you'll see that even though this doesn't has a, have a 1 there um, it does actually have uh, this feature applied so you can see that it's doing more than just adjusting the string um, and that might apply to um, to some of the other uh, pre uh, to the other instruments as well. So yeah, so the timbers on the arp as well. You have to kind of have a look and see sometimes because obviously you maybe want to switch that off. So this one basically has string three, piano, arp, wind, and a texture two. 
instead of using your mouse if you want to use your mod wheel which is what it should already be applied to as far as i'm concerned you uh, learn midi cc move your mod wheel and that is it so that will make like, your life a lot easier than trying to play and drag at the same time actually this is not a global um, assignment so you have to do that for every preset if you want to use the mod wheel so like I said uh, in the in the intro you've got orchestral bit at the start so I don't know why the strings are not together because it has string one uh, the bassoon the tuba string two uh, the French horn string three the pad piano uh, so why are the, the three strings not together because the two subs are together and the three textures are together so it would have made sense I would have thought to have the three strings together because it, it doesn't really matter what order they're in. So you've also got uh, the male, like I said, the two subs, ARP, um, the wavetable, the wind and the three textures. And they each have an edit mode at the top. There's a little pencil there. So for instance, like I said, this uh, texture two has been applied to the piano. But let's say if you, if you click in this, that is your whole list. So there's 23 textures, and like I said, they do they do kind of make quite a bit of a difference. You've got everything from triangles to more wind, kicks, waves, singing, rust. There's kind of copper, which I think is supposed to be copper. Um, there's a frame one, which uh, um, is a bit weird. Glasses is quite good. And then you've got hits, more strings, irons, gongs. Like I said, you've got everything. There's a bit of timpani, and then there's a piano. You can't actually click through these, like if I press the down arrow, it doesn't click to the next one. You've actually got to click on it and select it. So that's a bit annoying as well. The controls, you've got a master reverb and a master gain. Um, so they are quite quiet. So I tend to bang the gain straight up to 100, the reverb and the gain to the, uh, the drag mouse as well. Each instrument has a different set of parameters. So if we have a look at the strings, so you've got attack, release, reverb and pan on the strings. The um, bassoon has uh, attack, release, reverb, and pan. Uh, the tuba has the same as the bassoon. And string two is obviously, so all the strings are the same. So string three, they're all the same. The French horn has uh, attack, release, reverb, and pan as well. And then the pad has some different waveforms. So there's the classic four waveforms. So you can have two signs, or you've got triangle, saw, and square. And then you've got attack, release, uh, reverb cut off and LFO so there's quite a bit you can do with the pad to uh, to change the kind of um, sound piano has let's said release echo and reverb uh, the male voice has attack release reverb and and the subs have a LFO LFO frequency cut off and reverb uh, and you get two of those and then the ARP is very I mean it's the most basic ARP I've ever seen and I have kind of mention this to them as well so you've got timber reverb and then you've got four steps so you just drag these up and down the uh, the arp speed as well has been um, assigned to that so if you want to take that off just remove macro control so i don't want the arp speed to change the arp speed has no indicators so you don't actually know what the speed is you're you're purely having to go by ear uh, on on this speed so that's something else i kind of mentioned to them that there should really be some sort of uh, indicator um so that you could sync it with something else the wavetable uh, does not have any other wavetables as i mentioned in the intro it just has timber attack release and reverb so you can't change the wavetable uh, the wind just has timber and reverb and the textures are all the same. So, uh, a choice of kind of 22 granular sounds, and then you get timber, blend, density, detune, and reverb. And like I said, they are all the same. So there is plenty of, of kind of variations that you can create out of the 17 instruments. The panic button doesn't really seem to do anything. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It's not resetting anything or whatever, whenever I've ever tried it. Anyway, the macros, you can uh, have it as normal or inverted. So you can see that the uh, the string three has been inverted so you can just click them off and on basically which means that if it will start off high when you drag mouse it will go down and if it's normal it will start at the bottom and go up so that's the macros and like i said the presets like i said the first thing is you've no idea what the preset is that you're on there's no panel at the top with the name and i mean that was the first thing that i i 
I asked them about it. So why why is there no name? So there's no way that you can cycle through the presets because normally you would have a name up here in the middle with an arrow either side and you can cycle through them. You can't do that. Every time you want to change a preset, you've got to click and then you go into the four categories that you get with it. And I have created a new category uh, with my soundscapes. Um, so I have already done about a dozen presets, as you can see, uh, and I'll play some of them later on. So you've got four uh, categories. You've got instrumental, pads, textures, and dynamic. Uh, and then you can see the instrumental is split into six subcategories. Uh, and then you've got ARPs, but there's very few in each one. So let's say you've only got six ARPs, uh, six, uh, six basses, uh, five brass, six orchestral, five choirs, and five pianos. So let's say you are not getting a lot, it's only 88 presets in the whole lot. Uh, and then you've got pads, and again, they're split into three, um, ambient effects and pads, and then textures. So you've got uh, air, which is the winds. You've got aqua, which is kind of like water sounds. You've got deserts, and then you've got the metal. Dynamic is just some uh, arps and kind of synths, and, and that's it, that's all you get. And like I said, I am working on volume one, and I'm at about a dozen already. So um, I'm going to crack on with that and uh, make those available in the store because you could certainly do with some new presets because 88 is not a lot. And as you can see, there's very little in the way of some of the, the categories. And for instance, Dynamic all has four presets. And I'll play through a, a few of, of these because I've favorited the odd one. I haven't actually favorited that many, uh, Dark Zoko, uh, and it'll give you an idea. And like I said, it is very quiet, so the first thing I'll do is ramp up the gain. So we'll see what happens with the drag, so you can see there's three things applied. So it's moving the wind and the texture up. And taking the pad down. So the pad's been inverted uh, and the pad uh, is on triangle and sign. So if you go to macros, you can see that there's been quite a few inverted. And you can see there's some that aren't showing up. So the subs, uh, the subs have got uh, the reverb and the cutoff in inverted, but it doesn't show up there, which is just odd. And then that texture is the glasses that's coming in. And the wavetable has been applied to the timber as well. So, like I said, it does get a bit confusing as to what's actually being changed when you're mousing over. Um, and that is that is not one of the greatest ones. And I've, that's one of the ones that I've favorited out with that lot. And it's not exactly brilliant, is it? We'll put on dark base. So, so like I said, if you do want to apply the mod wheel, you just go to learn MIDI CC and apply that. You don't have to do it to all of them. So once you've done it to one, it will override um, the mouse drag. So I can move those two up together. Basically, that's the bassoon, the tuba, and the French horn, so that's all the brass. That's uh, brass, and then we've got horns and strings, except, like I said, we don't know what it is. I've never come across any plugin that doesn't have the name of the presets somewhere on the screen i mean there's not exactly there could be anywhere it could be down here it could be up here it could be fucking anywhere but i mean why why would you not have the name of the preset and allow you to cycle through them i mean it's just bonkers and like i said there's no global um, assignment for the mod wheel so every time uh, every preset you have to learn midi cc and then which is just ridiculously annoying. Piano and strings, let's try that.
So for instance, if we go to macros, we could uh, say invert uh, string three. So that will that will that will only that will come up and the other ones will go down. So that's quite cool being able to do that. So you can bring, you know, you can have two or three things moving up and down um, quite easily by using the invert command. I haven't favorited any of the pads, which for me is just mental. Let's try crystal wall. So you can see this is mixing. So if we drag left, uh, string two and the male is coming up, and then if we drag right, string one and the uh, string three and the bassoon is coming up. Um, yeah, so you kind of get the idea. Try uh, some of the dynamic ones, LFO bass. Let's try that. So the basses are pretty good for um, getting some movement without the arm. And like I said, you can see there has been uh, cut off applied and reverb and cut off and reverb. So that's been applied to both of them. So if we, you can hear if we drag right, So yeah, so let's have a listen to some of my soundscapes. This this could be a Blade Runner-y one, because you know I, I do like a Blade Runner preset. So it's 2049. And you can see I've applied the, the mod wheel. So you know once it's applied to the preset, it will stay there. So I'm using the pad, the subs, and the three textures. So let's see if we can get a bit of um, Blade Runner going. Cinematica, uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, so we've got pianos and strings and some textures. And there's been nothing applied. Django Unchained, which has got kind of textures, you'll kind of got this kind of chain sound. And it's going to, it's, you can see it's adjusting the reverb. So it's bringing up the kind of, whichever one this is, let's have a look, see what it is. It is the dumpster. So it's adjusting the dumpster um, granule uh, 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 and the reverb. Let's try and live forever. I, c I can't actually remember what these are. Yeah, they're quite cinematic. You get some quite nice stuff. Right, 
Uh, so I haven't applied this one yet to the <laughs> to the uh, the mod wheel because I'm still working on these. So let's apply uh, let's apply this one to uh, the mod wheel, um, so we can move these and then I can play a bit more. So we've got piano and pads, and we're bringing up the strings and texture too. So yeah, it's like I said, pretty cool stuff. If you have both subs going, you can get this kind of real nice movement. Try tubular bells, and this is Welcome home. So there we go, that is some of my presets and uh, like I said, I'm going to work on this and get them up to the usual kind of 30-ish. I'll stick them in the store. So that is uh, Sampleson's Sandstorm. It's uh, It just needs a bit more work to kind of fine tune it a bit and it would be um, it'd be really good. So yeah, so that uh, that is it for um, Sampleson's Sandstorm and uh, like I said, it is on offer uh, at the moment for I think, what is it, 39 
dollars which is not too bad so anyway so that is it for today and thanks for watching and as usual if you are enjoying these videos please like subscribe and comment uh, and i will see you in the next one